And as we discussed, Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walorski tragically died in a car crash, ha which happened late Wednesday afternoon. The Republican is one of four people who died in the crash. Her district director, Zachary Potts, her communications director, Emma Thompson, were also in the vehicle during the crash. The driver of the other vehicle, a 56-year-old woman whose car reportedly veered into oncoming traffic, was also pronounced dead at the scene. An investigation in Indiana is ongoing. Republican Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy shared a statement from the Congresswoman's office with a heavy heart. In part, the statement said, quote, she had returned home now to be with her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please keep her family in your thoughts and prayers. Republican Congressman from Indiana, Jim Baird, is joining us uh, to remember his late colleague. Congressman, really appreciate you taking the time. A sad day for the country when you lose a member of Congress and their aides, but a, particularly a sad day for the Indiana delegation. Uh, tell us about Congresswoman Walorski. Well, we certainly lost the state of Indiana and America really lost a wonderful advocate for doing the appropriate thing. She used, used common sense uh, to come up with solutions to represent her people from right there in Indiana. And she served on the Ways and Means Committee. Uh, gives you some idea about the confidence that her colleagues had in her as well as the leadership. And so we're going to miss her uh, tremendously. I know that she cared deeply about her staff. And so uh, we want to make sure that we express our concern and and hers as well about having lost two members of her staff. No, that's such a good She's, point, Congressman, about the staff. I mean, as someone who covers Capitol Hill, these lawmakers like yourself, uh, their lives are intertwined at times with the staff, uh, working so closely. Uh, tell us about that dynamic as a member of Congress yourself. Uh, and ha what, what would you say to the families of those, not only of the Congresswoman, but uh, of those of the aides? We're just very sorry. We're, it's sad news to, to get this kind of news. And we are concerned about the families uh, that are also involved, their families. And you are correct. Uh, when, you, when you do the kind of work we do, it's very intense sometimes. And so you serve as a team and, and the staff becomes intertwined with, with the um, members of Congress. Uh, and that's important to make sure that we get the message uh, that people in our district want in the legislative process. So Jackie was very talented at that. She had a personality that uh, was outgoing. So you wanted to be around her and with her. And I've sat with Jackie many times on the House floor, and you never, never was lacking in terms of other colleagues coming by and asking her guidance or, or uh, advice about things that were happening. And so it was a pleasure to serve with her. I know my other Indiana delegates, uh, Indiana colleagues also appreciated her straightforwardness and her honesty, and she served on the Ethics Committee as well. So. That also gives you some feel about the kind of person she was. My sense is, politically, that her district, that northern Indiana stretch, uh, was long a swing district. You think about Tim Romer, the Democrat for years, uh, and, and uh, Joe Donnelly, uh, the former Democratic senator, used to represent that area. But now the district, after uh, redistricting in certain uh, recent decades, has become much more Republican, uh, and it's probably going to stay Republican. Uh, she's also been an ally of former President Trump uh, in many ways. She's been an ally of House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, uh, frequently standing with McCarthy at news conferences. In terms of her political legacy in Indiana, in, in the Congress, how would you define it? I would say she was a very conservative, professional individual that worked hard at making sure she understood the legislation that was being passed making sure that uh, it did not have any unintended consequences, and she would do whatever was necessary to make sure it took care of the people back in her district. Well, she cared about them a great deal. Um, and she spent some time, for example, um, doing some uh, work with in Romania uh, before she became a congressman. 
And so that gives you some additional insight into the kind of person that she was. Have you talked to anyone else in the delegation or in the House about how members are going to handle this in the coming days and, and what's next? Well, we're making those contacts now and, and, and sharing uh, our concerns. And so we need to make sure that, that uh, the families are taken care of and then, and then we'll deal with the rest of that later. Congressman, really appreciate you being here and uh, sharing your thoughts. Uh, Congressman Jim Baird, a Republican of Indiana. Thank you, sir. Thank you.